everybody, it's John from War Budgies back. I'm going to talk to you about the kind of the progress this past week with the Warlord Titan project. I spent the uh, last week kind of getting familiar with the coding and the programming and the stuff I didn't know how to do a week ago, and I think it's going pretty well. But one of the things that I've gotten familiar with is this little guy. It's a 9 gram micro servo. And if you can see that, it's just a tiny little set of gear shafts and it turns that little thing on top up to 180 degree arcs, which is nice. Uh, this one in particular, it's a 9 gram micro. It's got a stall torque, or the amount of weight it can lift, of about 1.5 kilograms. So I think that'll be enough. I suppose I'm going to find out. For reference, the Reaver Titan's laser blaster arm, the entire assembly here, wrong side, the entire assembly here is about 200 some odd kilograms, and it's mostly solid resin. So I imagine if I get these and I drill out most of the mass, I can probably get it down to a manageable weight where it can move pretty well on its own. Now to test that though, I kind of decided to build a little test rig. That way I could arrange the motors and the servos and see how everything's going to work. So I took a bit of time and I built myself a movie quality replica of a Warlord Titan. So check this thing out. Okay, so I may have neglected to mention when I said movie quality that the movie in question is probably Sharknado 3. But still, what this guy does is he's here to just provide a platform for me to test out the way these servos work. And there's two servos in his arms to represent, or his shoulders, to represent the upper mounts where the laser blasters are going to go. There's two here to move the arms, one to move the head, and a giant 55 gram servo stuck in the torso. It's all controlled. Can't really see it from here, but there's an Arduino chip. We'll put a picture up down here for you guys. There's an Arduino chip back here that's got a Bluetooth attached to it. So I've got that wired in right now. Uh, this is all hideous wiring because I'm very new to this and I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's honestly how I run most of the time. This right here is going to be the app to control it. And this is something built with the MIT App Inventor 2. I'm going to give them a shout out because it's a really really easy to use program. And all I've done is give myself a slider and this will send the correct signal to the Bluetooth to move the limbs. So for instance we're going to move the arm over there. Just going to tap this thing and we've got some sense of motion. And say shoulder guys. Whole thing's still a bit twitchy but still very early in the process. So I'm actually going to take this and play with it here, move the head a little bit, a little side to side action there, both the arms, alrighty, and we'll move the torso just a little bit, there we go, so it's not terrible for a week's work, I think it's alright, and that's about it for this week's update, uh, the next step is, I'm actually not sure what the next step is, i got to refine the programming a bit. There's a few other features I want to put in there. It's going to have an overwatch mode where everything kind of moves around on its own and it just kind of surveys the battle space. And at some point I'm going to have to actually purchase the Warlord and get it shipped in the mail. So I can look forward to that soon. So until then, thanks for watching.